Welcome to My Degree Path, How to Understand Your Degree Audit, brought to you by the Bobcat Advising Center at the University of California, Merced. Purpose of this video and importance of MDP Degree Audit. When you meet with your Bobcat Advising Center academic advisor, your advisor will ask you if you have explored your major and degree requirements on My Degree Path, or MDP. The MDP Degree Audit is a tool you will use regularly to check your major and degree requirements allows you to consider how your courses might count toward other majors, it is specific to your entering year at UC Merced, includes coursework completed and in progress, shows how AP exams, IB exams, or coursework from a previous college count. UC Merced must receive your official test course or college transcripts before they are added to MDP. In addition to the MDP resources on the Office of the Registrar site, at the link on this slide, here are some quick tips on how to understand each section of the MDP degree audit to help you get ready for your BAC advising appointment. When you request a degree audit and click on view audit, your degree audit will load and you will see a page similar to this slide. Now, let's review each area of the degree audit in more depth. On the first part of the degree audit, you will see your name and declared major below your name. You can also see your academic advisor's name listed. The pie chart and bar graph give you a visual representation of what you have completed, courses in progress, and remaining degree requirements. The pie chart on the left shows a picture of your progress toward the 120 units required to earn your degree. The bar graph details your progress toward university graduation requirements, general education, and major requirements. This slide shows the different sections that make up your degree audit. A red box indicates you have not yet completed that section. A blue box indicates that you are in progress to complete that section. Finally, a green box shows you have completed that section. When you click on open all sections, you can see a list of the classes that count towards each requirement. We will now review each section in more depth. Let's begin by reviewing the five sections on this slide. The first section shows that all courses must be taken for a letter grade unless the course is offered only as a pass no pass. Second, the minimum unit requirement shows that you need to complete at least 120 units to earn your bachelor's degree. Third, you must have a cumulative UC GPA of 2.0 or higher. Fourth, for the residency requirement, at least 24 of your final 36 units must be completed at UC Merced. And finally, the fifth section on this slide shows requirements at every University of California school. You must complete the entry level writing requirement by the end of your second semester at UC Merced. If you have not completed the entry level writing requirement before you arrive at UC Merced, you will take writing one in your first semester and must pass it with a C or higher. For the American history and institutions requirement, most students who attend a US high school have already completed this before starting at UC Merced. If you have any questions about any of these requirements, connect with your BAC academic advisor. This slide shows the next four sections in the degree audit and some of the general education requirements. You will need a C- or higher grade in all GE and major requirements. The SPARC seminar must be completed by the end of your second semester at UC Merced. For written communication, you must take Writing 10 after you have completed the UC entry-level writing requirement. You will need one course in quantitative reasoning, and in many cases, a course required for your major may also satisfy quantitative reasoning. Many students have completed the language requirement before arriving at UC Merced. If you still need this requirement, there are certain foreign language and computer science and engineering courses that count here. This slide continues to show additional GE requirements, but these all require upper division or more advanced courses. Students usually complete the crossroads, writing in the discipline, and culminating experiences section of GE in their junior or senior year at UC Merced. You will need to take one course in each section. In many cases, a course required for your major may also fill one of these requirements. This slide shows the Approaches to Knowledge Area A, Natural and Engineering Science. You must complete three total courses here. One must be from Natural Sciences and one must be from Engineering Sciences. The third class can be from either Natural or Engineering Sciences. You may find that a course required for your major 
also counts toward natural or engineering science. This slide shows the approaches to knowledge area B requirements, arts and humanities and social science. You must complete three total courses here. One must be from the arts and humanities and one must be from social science. The third class can be from either arts and humanities or social sciences. You may find that a course required for your major also counts towards arts and humanities or social science. This slide shows your major requirements. Every major will have different requirements. In this example audit, the student is majoring in mechanical engineering. This part of the audit is a great way to track all the courses you'll need in your major. If you're considering other majors, you can also run a what-if degree audit to see how your completed courses might count towards another major. This slide shows the intellectual experience badges in general education. You must complete 11 total badges. For at least three of the badges, you must take an upper division course. The badges can be completed through either a class or an approved co curricular activity. Go to ge.ucmerced.edu for more information. A single class can count toward two badges if the class appears on both badge lists. For more information on MDP, visit the resources on the Office of the Registrar page at the link on this slide. If you have questions about your degree audit or would like to talk more about your remaining requirements, Book an appointment with your BAC academic advisor by using the link that you see here. Remember to review your MDP degree audit often to keep track of your remaining requirements, and thanks for watching.